Yo, what is up, brothers? On the tube, hope everyone's doing well. A little bit of a different video today. We're going to do a talk through style gameplay video where I'm just kind of talking about um, my thought process throughout the whole the whole game. Currently ranked, I think it's GM 573 LP, about 200 LP off of uh, Challenger. I was about five games off Challenger the other night, but unfortunately had a loss streak. Kind of lost my mental a little bit. Um, tilt queued and ended up losing six in a row when I should have only lost three in a row and stopped playing. Something I try to do in terms of managing my tilt queue, because I'm a very tilt queue prone player, is if I lose three games, I will stop playing. Like three games in a row on the same account, I'll stop playing. Um, so yeah, definitely didn't confined to that rule uh, the other night. We have to be careful of the Relin Gage. The Relin Bade with Nidalee. It's really strong. Um, interesting picks here. I was told in Champ Select a lot of my laners are filled. I know Thought Kog'Maw is a Kog'Maw one trick. Uh, and then I think these two players are also AD carry players. So um, It's going to be a tough game, that's for sure. We can definitely win, though. I think we have good scaling top lane as long as he doesn't get completely shit on by Trinomir. We're in good shape. Nidalee, at least in matchup, can go either way. It's kind of a skill expressive matchup where if either of the champs get ahead, you can really snowball that shit out of control and just smash the enemy jungler. You have to be careful of the invades as well as just dodging her spears because a lot of her damage comes from that. Um, Ralph Samira lane, also extremely volatile against uh, Alistair Lucian lane. Very, very volatile lanes here. So we want to clear towards bottom. I think I just heard Nidalee throw another spear. So I have to be careful of the late invade on my red buff here. Especially since their top lane has good 2v2. Okay, trying to smack in lane. And just be careful that Nidalee isn't here. She could look for some sort of 2 camp in like uh, cheese invade. If she knows the least and clear going Raptor's Krug, she'll know I'll be low and don't have a smite charge. So something to think about. Just want to make sure that top kind of goes unscathed in the sense that he's just farming, isn't losing too hard. Wither's going to go a long way in these fights against Trinomir, so that's good. Uh, we do want to make sure mid kind of wins, or goes even at least, just because Lux in the mid-late game is going to be one-tapping anybody. So that would be good. But again, just clearing towards bot lane here. If there's a gank opportunity, I'll probably do a 3 camp. If not, full clearing is fine. There is a mid gank opportunity here. He's pretty low. She lands a snare, he's just dead, right? I did opt for Conqueror in this game just because Tavis has a lot of value into these champs, so. I think more of a bruiser style build is gonna go a longer way. I think we can actually look here. Perfect. Should just be dead. Nice, bro. Shove this wave up for him. We didn't blow anything either, that's amazing. And I got the kill. Perfect. One more E. Should be able to just one shot the wave. Amazing. Watch out for Nidalee here. Cool. I want to just look to clear my bot side. Nidalee is probably looking to get active or just full clear. As long as top does okay, we're in okay shape. Again, he could get dove though by Nidalee. Like Nidalee playing towards top side here is actually really good. And I just need to walk out. Perfect. Just see if Nidalee's still here. Path bot here. We can actually look. We can look. We can look. Nice. Really good counter. She has flash. I want to try to give this kill to my Lucian. Okay, perfect. Well played. Well played. Nice. 3 0 start for us. That's really good. Mid looking like she's going to solo as well. That'd be really nice. And fucking amazing. Holy shit. Let's get a base here instead of doing our bot side camps. Because our level 2 raptors are up, we want to just make sure we get back on the map as soon as possible. Nidalee did clear down, so she's most likely looking um, to go to top crab. Nice pickaxe, triple longsword. That's crazy. Just ping that Nidalee is probably here. Really, really good um, thumbs. See if anyone caught the summoners that were used here. We had Nidalee flash for sure. I don't know about anybody else. Just gonna go contest these raptors as soon as possible in the case that Nidalee thinks she can do this. And now instead, I'm just gonna go look top. 
Uh, make sure he doesn't get dope. I think I heard a sound by her spear here. Yeah, I did. When she jumps, I'll probably use ward hop. I don't think she has any kill pressure. Not bad. Mm, I don't know if going top here is a good play. I don't think it is. I think we'll just do our raptors and then walk towards bottom. Sad I can't get her there, but she does have tier 2 boots, so... Makes sense why she outspaces me. Even with the level 2 e-slow, I don't get her, but... I'm not going to clear my my Krugs here, just because I want to stay on good tempo to contest the bot gank again. Again, all of our conditions are pretty good right now. Ideally, we get another bot gank off and can take drag off of it. I have a lot of damage on Nidalee. She didn't... She just went boots, so... If I ever catch her in a 1v1 fight, I'm pretty sure I win, even if she hits Spear. We should probably walk and pink this. Let's go in the row. It doesn't really matter who we go on. I think anybody is dead. Unless I miss. Okay, we leave it now. Just walk away like I'm actually leaving, but I'm gonna just stay just in case Nidalee shows up for something. She must be in this lane bush. So I just kinda have to stay here and help them push this wave out, just in case. Just letting them know, like, we win everything right now, I'm on so much damage compared to them. We kinda wanna bait them into a bad engage here. Sucks. Okay, we do the dragon stud. Do the dragon stud, guys. You showed on the grubs here, so we know it's a free dragon now. We can use our first smite charge here. Help get it lower. Securing a first row like this is really, really good, especially into like a mostly AD team. It's gonna boost our armor when we get our armor boots, which is which is really, really big. Plus, it's like not much is really happening. Um, while I'm waiting for my eclipse, so. I get the wave again, and we're in good shape. Nice. I'm probably just gonna get this, and then walk top. Just gonna walk mid here. Looks like, uh, they're fighting, so. He doesn't have flash. Nice, free kill. And I'm gonna walk right into my top side and just contest, the uh, in the case that Nidalee decide to look after Grubs. Hit this plant here, see if she's on my red, and she is. I can actually look for her top side unless Rel looks for a random realm here. Rel's bottom, perfect, I can look. I do beat Nidalee permanently right now, so. Remember we do have Vars coming, so I'm just kind of forcing her to reset her camp and then like Vars has to contest this mid wave, right? So now I can go look back once he shows mid. She can't really contest this. And I can just walk out now. Could be free. Perfect, perfect. Playing the matchup really well. Sitting on my Eclipse right now already. She's gonna be pathing towards her bot side, so. My mid's actually playing really well for an autofill player. Wow. issue with this now is we're kind of in a weird situation. I'm still up in terms of components on Nidalee and my entire bot side's up and she hasn't showed here yet. So I can either look to just go bot and get a reset but like this guy's playing way too aggressive I think. And he has no flash. Like look how low he is too. It's gonna stop him from being able to kill her and I can actually look for a red buff invade. Even though this is happening right now, I'm going to look on the red because they shouldn't be able to rotate in time. Now I have to leave. Rel is coming. Pulling her off her camp again. Now she's absolutely pissed. 
just gonna kind of fake uh didn't end up faking it but we'll just look bottom perfect so all that pressure i did there made their kind of bot lane split focus and we were able to um we we're able to actually double kill the bottom and then i end up killing the nearly on the backside as well like that is so huge for us holy shit get a base now no sense overstaying for this Samira's coming back. Rel's coming back soon. I'm sitting on two and a, like almost two and a half day gold. Let's get the base off. I'm actually going to skip getting boots right away just because I'm. I guess I could get boots. I will master the dragon why, why not just get boots? Good job, all. We want to just make sure we don't give them six grubs. Six grubs, please. Should be top side. Just communicating the track in here. Remember, we took her. She has no raptors. We took her red, and uh, like her krugs are only up. So the odds of her actually pathing bot side here just doesn't make any sense. Look at that, bro. She's just getting disgustingly abused here. Playing it extremely well. Just want to prevent these again. I can look for top gank probably. Um, just to secure these grubs for sure. I'm really, really strong. As long as she doesn't get dove and die here, she'll be free. I don't think he can even kill me. Perfect. Now we play for the grubs. Grubs, grubs, please. And careful, Nidalee most likely going bottom now. Nidalee knows my bot side should be up. Oh my god, my Lux is ulting for the grubs. We want to just get a base here and path forwards. I actually don't even need to base. I don't have that much gold. I'm just going to walk right in to keep the pressure. Remember, most likely Nidalee is walking to bot side here. This guy's trolling again with his positioning. Does she have a snare? Oh my god, she has a snare. Just kick him away so he can't kill the Lux. Perfect. I'm gonna path bottom because I know Nidalee's in the area somewhere. Looks like they already got it covered. And I'm here for the counter. Perfect. Nice cancel on the R there. It's just a fucking jungle clinic, boys. It's a jungle clinic. We can take the dragon here. They have no mid or bot, so it should be free drag. If she comes to steal it, if I lose the smite steal, it's kind of on me, right? But I mean, she's already so far behind. It doesn't make sense for her to try to, to, try to steal this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So again, here, instead of taking the spot side, Nidalee can't come to the spot side, right? She has no idea where I am right now. For all she knows, I could be like in the bot side. Instead, what I'm gonna do is just path directly up to my top side to contest the top side. I should have told them that Nidalee was top. Um, so that was kind of my fault. She's probably not expecting me to be here. Sucks he gets first tower though without any grubs. It's kind of crazy. I'm just going to walk in here. I'm pretty confident I can win any fight. And he's pulled his base so I can kill him. Really sucks that, um, again, Nazis lost his first tower. But my bot side's really strong. We have, we have, oh sorry, they have three grubs, not zero grubs. My bot side's like incredibly strong. Uh, mid is winning as well. I'm gonna need to go hold that mid tower. Shit, he's gonna get it. Yeah, he gets it anyways. It's kinda shitty that we've lost this many um, towers though, despite shitting on everybody. Uh, careful. Nice, game state's going really, really good for us. AD carry's really strong. I don't even know if I can go for that. Oh, Trinirian's bot. Okay, I can look for it now. As only if Trinirian was here, could I not be able to do it? I could teleport there to stop the dive. 
so far so good. I mean, we just want to keep playing for these drags, playing on our strong side, which is, uh, I mean, my, my mid is really strong, but I want to protect the solution shut down as much as I can. Protect President Lucian. I'll take my bot side when I have, like, time and tempo to do it, but I just don't have it right now. Try Luxe. It's good. It kills her. As long as we protect the Lucian shutdown, we should be in good shape. Although it's only one Vars far away from him dying, right? Hmm, I got you here, bro. Can't be letting Trinomir do that. I'm gonna take her red buff away. This is really bad for us though that he's getting to uh, do whatever he wants. He should have went Tabby's. I know it's not orthodox on Nazis to go Tabby's, but he probably should have went Tabby's. We need to respect that four people could be coming. Nidalee could be here as well as um... As well as like Varus and whatnot, right? So... As long as my Nazis can just match and we don't lose too much for it... We should be in okay shape. We might just have to deal with the split though before this drag. He can't be allowed to play like this. So if you're gonna go the Bruiser build, you can go um, Sundered Sky. I think in the case that you don't need Armor Pen early, it's a really good call. Uh, I mean, she's just kind of oversaying. I'd rather just get my base off. She actually got out. Wow. Okay, let's set up the push mid. Um, I have Sundered Sky. They might send Trin. They might send Trin for this drag. Again, we just have to protect Lucian from losing the, uh... Perfect. Now we get Free Dragon here. Use the Czar. I'm not sure if he used Ghost or not, but... Just gotta be careful face-checking Rel Nidalee here. Should be good. Try and pull it out a bit. I think we should look to fight. With Trinomir off the map right now. He is their strongest member. I think Nasus has a free kill for him, no? This guy can't even hit him! <laughs> That's fucking amazing. I can look here, but I have to be cautious. Okay, it's gone. I'm just gonna keep playing with the uh, again my my strong bot lane here. Perfect. That's really really good. We can look to drop rift here. Could even be an end angle potentially. We actually could end the game, I think. That could be a really fast end with the uh, Herald here. Trinomir is dead. They can't do anything. It's it's kind of just fucking over at 19 minutes, huh? Wow. Oh, 
Oh my god! They just can't play. Tell me they can play there whatsoever and it's just GG, boys. What an absolute fucking jungle clinic. Well played. Let's fucking go, huh? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a game. Jesus Christ.